All right, hello everyone. Today I want to talk to you about the Taurine jailbreak tool. Specifically, I want to get into two of the reasons why I switched over to Taurine. And you're going to think these are very good and logical reasons why I switched. And then afterwards, I'm going to bring up a YouTube video that I suggest you guys check out. I should have had a tab open, but we'll just Google the YouTuber in question and I'll talk about how it's easy to follow along his instructions if you're switching from Uncover to Taurine. So two reasons why I switched to Taurine. The first reason why I had switched from Uncover to Taurine I've been noticing with Uncover, it heavily relies on the City of Substrate. Now we know over the years, going back a long time ago, that's how Sorek, Jay Freeman, the creator of Cydia, intended for it to be used. It needed a substrate, so that way everything could run smoothly. Lately I've been noticing with my iPad and my iPhone, on my iPhone... I randomly get crashes that aren't really intended to happen when I'm just randomly using my phone. It just boots up and then reboots and I have to constantly keep using Uncover every time and it's so annoying. What I've been noticing with Taurine, the past couple of days I've been using it, Taurine is just amazing. It's just a simple app and as you can see here on the home page... It's just so simple to even change the themes on the app. Uncover doesn't even have that. And I'm not really pleased with that. I just think that it's not a pleasant experience using Uncover anymore. I have been very disappointed with it. And I guess because as the iOS firmware is developed, maybe it's not right with the times maybe back when ios 13 last year and ios 12 the previous year i just feel that at this point you know my phone can't really handle it anymore maybe it's just the way that the ios is done maybe it's the way uncover has done it but i'm just not filled with uncover these days i just really I'm so sick and tired of the next point I'm going to bring up. And that is... I'm just so sick of Uncover constantly crashing. I'm sick of it not jailbreaking the first time. I literally tried this morning both my iPad and my iPhone. And literally it just booted up immediately. And the fun thing about it is when you actually jailbreak... The fun thing is it actually shows Taurine on your screen it, before it reboots and goes back to loading up your Cydia tweaks. And it's so simple the layout. Uncover just cannot seem to keep up with the times. And that is where I go into the second reason why I switched. And that is Cilio. Now you may be wondering, what is Cilio? I've only heard of Cydia. I'm first hearing about Cilio. Or maybe you have known about it now for the past I would say two to three years it was developed by Coolstar who is known in the jailbreaking community now for a while he developed it for a direct competition with Cydia and I've been noticing that tweaks load a lot faster even when you try to install them for the first time they just load up very quickly even on slow internet connection, it just makes a whole world of difference. I even heard this from iDevice Central himself. He said where he is in Italy, he gets slow internet. Every time he's used Cydia, tweaks just don't load fast enough when they're trying to download them. I'll show you the development team. And the other good thing about Taurine is that it uses Libhooker and it doesn't rely on the 
city is substrate. And the good news is with GitHub, it's going to it's going to continue to be developed. So Taurine's going to be open sourced. Maybe down the line, I'm sure Coolstar will come up with a different tool for iOS 15 because we're only now officially two months away from World by Developers Conference in June. Apple just announced that they're going to be having another virtual conference this year due to the pandemic. But open source is a good thing. You know, it can be developed even with the betas possibly. Now currently, we're on version 1.0.1, as you can see here, and I just updated just on Easter, which was yesterday, and it fixed a minor issue with my iPad on 1.0.0, on the original release, that it was crashing, but they did fix that for my iPad 5th gen, so one minor fix, that's the good news. You do have the alt store method. You can, for the first time, use the alt store method. It's pretty pretty easy to follow along here. Pretty easy to follow along here. And you have side loading, the uh, alt server. But that's not the method that I want to get into. Now, again, I want to bring up Cool Star. It's him right there, the developer. I have a big community that takes their time with this. Before I get into Lim Sanity's channel, I'm going to bring up Odyssey, which was their counterpart to iOS 13. Cilio, which comes pre-installed with it. Why would you ever want to go back to Cilio when Cilio was constantly updating the latest tweaks every day? Chimera was the iOS 12 tool. So again, they've been around since iOS 12. So for the past two years, since 2019, um, they've just found an alternative to the Cydia tool. So we'll just look up Limb Sanity. Not Limb Sanity. <laughs> yeah. Look him up. Go to his YouTube channel. We'll just pause this video. That's not the video we're looking for. We're looking for a different video. We'll pull it up just a second. And I will card the video right now so you all can do that. Also, I want to mention, if you're having the calendar virus fix, he has a good video for that as well. In fact, I'm going to probably get to it later today after I'm done making this video. But we are looking for this. We're looking for this right here. Let me put this on mute. And this is the video I was talking about. This is the video where he discusses how to switch over from Uncover to Taurine. It's very simple. All you need is to have reprovision. It's all you need. You can just download the app. And I will mention another positive with Taurine. It is 20 megabytes less and I trust this out, less than the Uncover app, which is incredible. I have to say, for Coolstar and his team, they've done a terrific job with this. Now, if you want to mess around with old school Cydia, and again, Cydia is not something that I would recommend in 2021. You still have Installer 5, which is uh, something you can still use in 2021, but Cilio is just much smoother to use. I've been noticing that. I'm much happier with it. And I said to myself, I'm just tired of using Uncover. I'm sick and tired of it. I got so annoyed. And when you watch this video, and again, I'll card it. I'll even link it in the description below. And I'll even put the Taurine website so that way you can find everything. You're going to be thanking me. If you're having an unpleasant experience with Uncover, please do yourself a favor and just switch over to Taurine. You're going to you're going to save yourself a lot of time. And one more disclaimer I need to note, you must be 
on iOS 14.0 out of 14.3. Now, the good news is we are up to iOS 14.4.2. Now, if you have an A7 through A11 device, lowest device can be iPhone SE first gen, highest device can be the iPhone 10, for an example, you can still jailbreak. In fact, I will mention the highest iPod Touch you can go to is the iPod Touch 7, for an example. So I would recommend if you want to fiddle around with uh, Chuck Ray to see if it's right for you, try to grab a spare iPod Touch somewhere and just do it that way and then see if it's good for you. But it Chuck Ray still supports the unsupported firmware as an A7 through the... A11 devices. Now I will mention if you are on an A11, A12 device, I will mention, and the, even the way his chipset, I forget the way his chipset is for the iPhone 12. The jailbreak community has been advising people to stay on iOS 14.4. There might be down the line, maybe later this summer, there's always a good chance because uh, Uncover has done this in the summer before. They've updated their uh, tool to work. So I would recommend stay on iOS 14.4 if you want an untethered. If you just want to keep messing around with Jack Rain, which, you know, Jack Rain can be stable. It can be stable. Then be my guess. You know, you still have to be a slave to a computer, but... Taurine gives you more freedom. Taurine just, I guess, gives the user a friendlier experience. And the reason why I will mention, I did not update to iOS 14.4 originally, before I wrap up this video, is that when they said there was a security bug that was patched in iOS 14.4, a few months ago, I was saying to myself, wait a minute, Apple might have just patched the bug for the jailbreak, which I was too smart. You know, I, I know Apple too well. <laughs> so again, you can watch this video on how to switch from Uncover to Taurine. It is very simple, very easy to follow along. It doesn't... I mean, you can follow it along... Very easily in under five minutes is my point. So, say goodbye to Sidia. And, uh, Sorik, I know we love you. I know we're coming from a good place. But, uh, you're not up with the times. Where have you been all these years? It's time for Cool Star's reign to begin. And, Cool Star, I understand why you take your time with your jailbreaks. So, trust me, next time around, I'm going to learn my lesson, and, you know, I have Uncover originally, I'm going to switch immediately to the next possible tool that they release. Open source, so good things are happening. So that's pretty much it, that's why I switched, and maybe you're not having any problems with Uncover, Maybe you're just, I guess, one of the rare users. But in my situation, I couldn't take my phone rebooting anymore. And I couldn't take my iPad just not going through with the jailbreak the first time. I just couldn't take it anymore. I was like, I'm done. So, hope you found this video very interesting. And I know that I still want to work on looking into more city of tweaks. I know there were a couple I was... Well, City of Silo, it's the same thing. You know, as long as you add your repos, doesn't matter. So, thank you all very much for watching. Again, I really hope you found this video very interesting, because maybe I had convinced you. So, I'm done here. Until the next one, please take care.